All right, let's do 3.2. Now, I must be honest with you, graphs like this give me heebie-jeebies because I just feel like they're so squished and I can never see anything. But again, as I said to you, don't get overly stressed about the graph. The questions help you out. So let's see what is asked for and let's go from there. Shown below is a growth chart for boys for, from birth to 24 months. Okay. Also shown on this chart is the head circumference for age and part of the weight for length percentiles. Okay, so there's a lot going on here. We can see this is clearly labeled head circumference. This is labeled birth. Here it said part of the weight for length. So I think this is the weight for length, but I don't actually know. We'll see what the questions ask. The movements, the, sorry, the measurements for a boy at 1, 9, 12, and 18 months have been plotted on the chart for a nurse at the clinic. So this is a specific child. So here's the chart, and she's plotted these points. So there's one at 1, 9, 12, and 18 months. Okay, we're probably going to have to comment on those, so just bear those in mind if you want to color them in to help you, whatever. Do what you need to do. Let's read the questions. Use the growth chart above to answer the questions that follow. Write down in inches, okay, the measurement of the boy at nine months. Okay, so it's not just any boy, it's this boy. So there's nine months. There's this dot. Bring it across. You might need to use a ruler, but if you bring it across, you'll see that it is just under 18. Okay, now you could be thinking, oh, well, how do I know it exactly? Well, count, right? So from how do I know what that indicates? Well, between 17 and 18, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? So this kind of, it's kind of actually a little bit weird because it's almost like there's 12 slots there. But it's just under 18. There's my 18 slot there. There it is. Okay, there's my 17 slot. In general, you'd have... That would be halfway, and that's just before 18, right? That's where that is, just before 18. Just before 18 would be 17,9. So say 17,9 inches, okay? So let's just make sure that we're writing this correctly. 17.9 inches. Now, you could be saying, oh, but Margie, like I got 17,8, I got 18. Remember, they give you leeway. Anything between 7,8 and 18, they would have given you the marks. So don't stress. Remember to put in your measurement, though. Let's move on. Identify the months in which the boy was below the 50th percentile. Now, this is quite a tricky one because we have to figure out where the 50th percentile is. So I'm actually going to use a highlighter just because I think that that's quite helpful. So these are all labeled here. Those are my percentiles. So this here is my 50th percentile. So now I've highlighted it in green. Now it's quite easy. When are the dots below the 50th percentile at one month it's above there and at 18 months it's my answer one and 18 months okay so don't get overly stressed with these sort of graphs you must be able to see what's going on right it tells you that it shows the percentiles and it shows you the um age and months so be careful that you are checking this because it told you that the percentiles were there. And so you can't be saying, oh, I didn't know they were in percentiles. Well, it's given, right? So if you're not familiar with these graphs, you need to try and practice a couple more. Okay, let's do the last question for this video. 3.2.3. Another boy of the same age has a head circumference of 48 centimeters at 18 months. Remember, head circumference is basically saying, if this is someone's head looking from the top, it's saying, what is the measurement if I start over here and I go the whole way around? What is the distance? That's what circumference is. The reason they call it circumference is because it's circular. Any other shape would be perimeter. Just you must know these words. Okay. Our 48 centimeters at 18 months. So this is another boy. It's not this boy. State whether this boy falls in a higher or lower percentile than the boy who's details have been plotted on the graph on the growth graph okay so our little guy at 18 months right the one that was plotted here is sitting below the 50th percentile but he's also sitting kind of at 47 if we had another little guy sitting at 48 at 18 months he'd be sitting like over here okay we can clearly see that that's above right 
the uh, 50th percentile and it's sitting slap bang on the 75th percentile, right? If you go along that line, 75th percentile. So our answer there, 3.2.3 is the 75th percentile, right? Or you can just write 75%, either, like, either way, it's fine. Okay, so not a difficult set of questions, and yet the graph was quite complex. And that's why I always say to you, if you're getting bogged down by the, the information given, go to the questions. They often help you steer your mind to what is required. Okay, let's move on.